2022 Suzuki Hayabusa, Road Test Review But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. Sometimes truth really is stranger than fiction. These days we've got three billionaires, Jeff Bezos, Richard Branson, and Elon Musk, trying to one-up each other in the space race. Ever the showman, Branson beat Bezos by a week in their personal quest to become space cowboys. If you want to book a galactic flight, a ticket could set you back a cool $250,000. What a waste. You can reach hyperspace right here on Earth for less than a tenth as much. Just head down to your local Suzuki dealer and fork over $18,599 for a new Hayabusa. All you have to decide is which color you want your rocket to be. Our test bike is a gorgeous metallic matte sword silver with candy daring red accents. The Busa also looks sharp in glass sparkle black and candy burnt gold, but you can't go wrong with pearl brilliant white and metallic matte stellar blue either. Ah, the tyranny of choice. Taking flight. Yes, a Hayabusa, along with all other street legal production motorcycles, has its top speed electronically limited to 186 miles per hour, 300 kilometers per hour. But with some ingenuity and money, you can go faster. Much faster. Just ask Becky Ellis. Her husband Mike built a turbocharged Hayabusa, and she rode it to a world record speed of 264.10 miles per hour in 2014. Or Bill Warner. He's a tropical fish farmer from Tampa, Florida, who rode a partially streamlined and turbocharged Hayabusa to a record-breaking 272.340 miles per hour in the standing mile at Maxton AFB in 2010. For mere mortals riding on public roads, the Hayabusa's speed cap is hardly oppressive. And it's really no big deal that claimed peak horsepower for the third gen 2022 model is lower than that of the previous model, 188 versus 194. Peak torque is lower too. What matters is the extra grunt in the midrange, which helps the new Hayabusa accelerate faster than ever. Hypersport Touring Here at Ryder, we gave up quarter mile and top speed testing a long time ago. It was just too logistically challenging, and on a bike like the Hayabusa, it would be dangerous and felonious without renting a drag strip. In thrust we trust, and on jet tuning's rear wheel dyno the big Suzuk spun up the drum to the tune of 173 horsepower at 9,800 revolutions per minute and 106 pounds to foot of torque at 6,900 revolutions per minute. We specialize in motorcycle travel and adventure, so after Tom Montano's first ride mostly on the track at Utah Motorsports Campus, we wanted to find out how well the Hayabusa works out on the road ridden until the low fuel light comes on. We logged nearly 1,700 miles for this test, including three 400-mile days, on city streets, on freeways ranging from wide open to rush hour crowded, and on some of the best riding roads the Golden State has to offer. We burned nearly 44 gallons of premium fuel and averaged 38 miles per gallon. The Hayabusa has a 5.3-gallon tank, so that works out to just over 201 miles of range. Our fuel economy was as high as 42 miles per gallon on mellower jaunts, but it dropped as low as 31 miles per gallon when we pushed hard in the twisties. As a 582-pound sport bike, the Hayabusa isn't what you'd call flickable. It's well-composed, graceful even, and will go where you point it and hold a line dutifully. But effort is required when transitioning back and forth through a tight series of curves, like those on Highway 1 along the craggy Big Sewer Coast, on Skyline Boulevard along the ridge of the Santa Cruz Mountains, or on Highway 58 as it snakes over the Tembler Range. You have to earn it, and the big reward is lighting the wick on a long, arcing corner exit. With a perfectly balanced 1,340cc inline 4, the Hayabusa is remarkably smooth. In fact, it requires care to avoid slipping into triple-digit territory without realizing it. At 100 miles per hour in top gear, the engine is spinning at just 5,200 revolutions per minute, or so I'm told, wink wink. It redlines at 11,000 revolutions per minute. Do the math. When straight lining on the freeway, I often use cruise control to avoid speed creep. The Hayabusa also has an adjustable speed limiter, which can be temporarily overridden to allow a quick pass. Both are part of the comprehensive, EMU-enabled electronic suite that was included in the Suzuki's overhaul for 2022. There are six ride modes, three are preset and three are customizable, that adjust power, throttle response, engine braking, lean angle sensitive traction control, wheelie control, and the quick shifter. There's also launch control, 
cornering ABS, front to rear linked brakes, rear lift mitigation, hill hold control, and Suzuki's easy start and low RPM assist systems. The only thing missing is a tire pressure monitor. for watching drop a like leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this